And today's video guys, I'm going to show you how we can increase our FPS or better said overall performance here in chapter 4. Since the start has been kind of rough, tons of people are complaining right now on Twitter that the performance really isn't the best. So therefore guys, I'm going to show you exactly what you all need to change and apply on your PC in order to have better FPS. Let's get straight into it. So guys, and for the first step in today's video, we're gonna be utilizing the Automotive Windows Tweaker version 4.8. And you can get this actually over on my Discord guys, just on my Discord.gg slash stripes. And then the FPS Boost Packs channel, you can find it just and we're going to search but type in the FPS boost packs and from there you can get your hands onto it guys yeah and once you get it on your PC you're gonna extract it basically just open up the file and click onto the exit and then the program is already launched and once you get the ultimate Windows tweaker running on your PC guys I'm now going to guide you through everything which you can disable a hundred percent what we're gonna do in the first place is click over to performance they gotta put all of these here guys to the left guys this is basically when applications crash that they instantly get actually turned off you know so yeah it doesn't bug out your PC here we have a ton of services which we can disable something like disable tablet input services, prefetch services, printer spooling services, and Microsoft Edge preloading, yeah? These are the ones which are safe 100% to disable. Then we're gonna click onto security. In here, you have to be super careful, guys, because you might actually accidentally disable the registry editor or something like the task manager. So these ones leave 100%, leave them out, guys, yeah? But what we actually wanna do here is click onto privacy. And in here, basically, Microsoft is only collecting data of your PC, so you can disable as many as you want, all of them straight straight up you're just sending data right now to microsoft something like the telemetry or biometrics you definitely want to make sure to fully disable or something like disable and reset advertising id you know so they can give you more specific ads and all that stuff we don't care about it so therefore we're going to disable as much as possible and once we click now on traditional guys, you wanna make sure to enable the network adapter on bulk processor. This one is actually going to help you to counter packet loss or hyping in general while gaming because you're actually enabling the specific network on board processor. This is a small chip on your main board in order to process all the calculations when it comes down to your internet, if you're playing like games online or whatever. So therefore, please make sure this one is enabled and then we're gonna apply all of these tweaks and we're already done here with this first step. And now I'm just going to guide you through a bunch of settings which I applied here on my Windows itself, guys in order to get better performance in Fortnite Chapter 4. And what we want to do in the first place is actually go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in the game mode until we can find the game mode settings. I know the Windows game mode had a ton of overwork over the last few weeks and months, guys, and I can definitely tell you when right now comes down to gaming, you can surely enable this one in order to get better performance in general, guys. But we're not going to stay only on the game mode itself. We're just going to make sure that it's actually enabled. But then we're also going to click onto related settings, guys. And what you actually want to do is under graphics performance preference, select Fortnite in here and put it under the option high performance if your fortnite isn't here just simply click on to browse once guys and then you get to find your fortnite folder which for me here normally is my normal c then program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries windows 64 and from there you can get it guys yeah just simply make sure to find exactly this one here on your pc the only difference might be you might have it maybe on another hard drive but for most people it's going to be on c and then you're going to select fortnite client windows 64 shipping exe edit in here guys which for me already is of course edit then you're going to go under options and put it onto high performance not on to let windows decide or power savings mode or anything like that guys straight up high performance then we're gonna go back here actually into the settings and on the top here now we have xbox game bar guys and the xbox game bar is basically like this microsoft service where you can share clips record live stream and all that stuff connect your pc basically with the xbox if you have it linked up guys and personally i gotta say this mode is super hardware demanding and i never utilized it most people have it running 24 7 on their pc because yeah as you know you can just simply theoretically plug in a controller press onto this button and it will pop up on your PC which means this is a process which is 24 7 in the background so therefore we want to 100% make sure to disable it and also uncheck everything related to it then we're gonna go next up here over to capture and the same thing most PCs anyways have something built in like this into their GPU something like Nvidia GeForce Experience or AMD Catalyst whatever you guys are using so therefore the capture feature is kind of useless in my opinion I really wouldn't recommend it because the quality itself isn't always also like stable 60 FPS it's very badly optimized so therefore please make sure to actually turn it off the same thing for recorded audio or basically any of these settings should be completely disabled once we're done with that we can stay here in this window guys and just simply type in their apps until we can find apps and features what i want you to do is open up your task manager and actually go over to details guys once we're in here we're once going to click onto memory and then again so we can see all the programs on our pc which are taking a lot of ram usage cpu usage and just some of the performance which we need for fortnite to run smoothly and what i want you to do basically now 
now is go through this list and take a look at all the tools which you can see here, which have a high RAM usage. Let's just say as an example, my RGB controller already takes half a gig of RAM, guys. That is so much actually, and especially if you're on a more lower to mid end PC, of course, this is going to hit your performance a lot harder. So therefore, realistically, would I need the RGB controller? Yes, for my PC to look fancier, but when it comes down to gaming and I actually need to rely on these 500 gigs of RAM, you can go now into apps and feature, type in exactly that name, you know, signal, then you should find it and uninstall it directly, you know? And what I want you to do is basically go through this whole entire list and have like a deep look. So therefore, the main goal of this going to be is that you kind of clean up your PC manually because you often have tools where you're like kind of, yeah, I don't need it right now. Maybe I need it in a couple of weeks, but you actually never use it and it's just costing you RAM. So therefore, go through this whole entire list and try to disable and delete as many of these as possible, guys. Then this next up, guys, what are we going to do is go into a Windows search bar and actually type in the MS config until we can find system configuration. Open it up, guys. And from here on, what you want to do, guys, is go over to services and actually make sure to check hide all Microsoft services. In here, guys, we're basically going to do the same. And with actually hiding all the Microsoft services, guys, we know that any of these here are 100% not necessarily for our system to run. So what you can do is here again, guys, search through it real quick. If you have like any clues about some of these and you know, okay, I don't really need them. Something like my Corsair services, some stuff like that, because I already have like a RGB controller. Why would I need a second one directly for my water cooling? You can 100% make sure to disable those here because yeah, obviously I'm not going to need them anymore. And here again, search for this whole entire list and make sure to disable as many as possible. Then next up, what are we going to do guys is click onto boot. And there we have now our main operating system, which is Windows 10 for me. And we're going to click onto advanced options. And in here, you can already see guys numbers of percent processors is checked now and I put it to the maximum which my CPU can offer me which is 32 threads depending on what CPU you guys have if you have like a Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, i7 all that stuff guys you're of course gonna have different amounts of threads let's just say like a Ryzen 5 5600 is gonna have like six cores 12 threads just simply always make sure to select the highest number available then we're gonna click onto it and onto OK and click onto apply and then again onto OK and then it's going to ask us to reset our PC and we're already gonna have a lot better performance and what are we now also going to do in addition guys is press your Windows key on your keyboard and R in combination to open up the run application and in there we're going to type prefetch exactly as right now here on screen guys just simply put it in there click onto OK and then we can see now that we have a new folder it's going to tell you you don't currently have permission to access this folder click onto continue and now we're in here guys and these are all temporary data on your PC just simply slowing it down make sure to completely clean as much as you can if there's any which you can just simply skip them it's fine then we're gonna go in addition as well into a Windows search bar type in the percentage temp percenter open up this one and delete even more temporary data on our pc here again guys as many as possible skip what you can't of course and then we're going to close this and now you're just simply going to empty your recycling bin and you're going to have a lot less temporary data and what's even better guys is if you go onto something like disk cleanup in your windows search bar again guys we can now see in here actually a DirectX shader cache which is super important to actually like clean once in a while and the delivery optimization files you're going to do exactly those two ones guys and then click onto ok and make sure to delete all of these files here you can see it's only going to take a few seconds really depending on your pc and now we're already done and we did deleted all the corrupted or old files on our pc slowing it down and real quick guys also huge shout out to my sponsor no ping which is actually going to help you to find the server in your near for the least amount of ping and actually reduce the input delay in games like fortnite or over 1000 supported games all you guys can do is search up fortnite in here and once you actually selected fortnite you can now see guys that the netherlands 04 server is actually only giving me 14 milliseconds of delay as of right now and something like london 03 is already giving me 20 and we all know especially for comp guys six milliseconds in ping can actually make a huge difference whether or not you can take a wall so therefore what i'm going to do is actually select now the best one click on to optimize for this game go here onto the settings and also enable the turbo games function mode which is going to give me less input delay on my keyboard on top of that we also have some of the best tweaks for better fps so therefore click onto it and you can enable all of them they're all tested and also fully described what they're actually doing on here so therefore only let no ping run in the background and you're gonna have better ping less input delay and more fps with my link in the description you can get by the way 20 percent off and they offer paypals so therefore definitely make sure to check them out guys 